The good news is that you are Project Night, and you're one project away from Project Night. So please give me a big round. However, the bad news is that I just finished my persuasion test this morning, so I shall evaluate your persuasion speech with what I've learned so far. So I shall start with the good points that you've done, the good things, the well done things that you've done. So first, you started with a story. Amazing. Story is a way to, uh, is a good way, is a great way to captivate the audience. You have made us immerse into your storytelling person by saying your experience after you joined Toastmaster. I mean, if you are looking for a person to tell a story about Toastmaster, it should be you. You're the ex-president, and then you actually complete the Project 9, and you are still here. So you are qualified to tell the story. Second thing is that you use very good imagery. You, you see something like magic factory. You compare Toastmaster as magic factory where one people who are very introverted can join this factory life and then when they come up, oh, it's, it's a good imagery. Please give him a big round of applause. <laughs> and lastly, you, you did, I, I like how you structure your message. It's called a two-sided message based on my, what my lecture said. So basically you started with a negative point and then try to counter that points with a counter argument, which is a good way to persuade people and it made us think we are compelled to agree with the agreement. However, I felt there are a few things that you can improve on to make this speech more persuasive. So first thing first is that I noticed that your body language, you, you love to use your hands, but you, you always put it in such a way that you did this. You did this, like when you're walking, walking around. And According to my lecture, it's a sign of nervousness, and it looks very bad, you know, so it can be distracting. So it's good if you can actually open up and be powerful. It, it shows dominance and power because you occupy space. So that's a good point to take out there. And then the second thing is that it like the facts, you know, <coughs> the persuasive speech. You need some facts to back up your argument. So. Facts can be a difference maker whether a person can be convinced or not convinced. With some addi additional facts, you can probably convince more people with your speech just now. And lastly, I felt that your me message, you know, the counter argument that you said about having, you know, being able to speak some prep to the audience, I don't think that's a good counter argument to actually say <laughs> here. So see, I mean, it doesn't really counter the, the first argu argument that you made about how you, uh, how not very relevant those master is in the workplace. So therefore, with all these points to consider, I hope I could listen to your next speech. Please give it a big round of applause.